Hi guys, my name is David from Pay It Forward. And I'm David from Pay It Forward. And in this video, we're going to show you what to do when your iPhone won't download apps. So this is a super common problem. And the first thing I would do when people would come into the Apple Store with this problem is simply to turn their iPhone off and back on again. To do that, press and hold the power button on the side of your iPhone until slide to power off appears in the screen and then swipe across the screen with your finger. It's gonna take 10 to 15 seconds for your iPhone to turn all the way off. After that happens, press and hold the power button again until the Apple logo appears on the screen. You can let go, your iPhone will turn back on and hopefully your apps will download. So you turned your iPhone off and back on, they still yep. won't download. Yeah, so we're gonna take a look at your iPhone's connection to the internet, um, either through Wi-Fi or cellular data. So if you're using Wi-Fi to download your apps and it's not working, try a different Wi-Fi network because there can be issues with routers or Wi-Fi networks um, that prevent your iPhone from connecting to the app store the right way. Also, we should mention that if you're using cellular data to download apps, if you're downloading an app larger than 100 megabytes, it just won't work over cellular data. Right. You have to use Wi-Fi to download bigger apps, and usually those are things like games. So we checked our Wi-Fi, we checked our cellular data. Those are totally fine. Next mm -hmm. thing is check your Apple ID, and maybe there's an issue there. Yep, super common. Even if you're logged in with the correct Apple ID, a lot of times there's issues with passwords, and sometimes your iPhone won't even tell you that something's wrong, but this will cause the problem. So let's go to settings and then scroll down to iTunes and App Store. There it is. Yep, tap on Apple ID at the top, and then tap Sign Out. So now you're gonna be logged out of your um, Apple ID. Yep. Tap Sign In. Sign in. David's gonna sign in right now. I'm gonna use my text he replacement feature. Yep. We have a video on that. It's a great video. Check it out if you wanna learn that tip. Yeah. So sign back in. Okay, so yeah, David signed back in with his Apple ID. And now we're gonna to go to the App Store and try to download apps. Um, a lot of times that'll just fix the problem by right. itself. So let's say that Apple ID wasn't the problem. Let's take a look at the actual storage space. On okay, app. let's do that. Let's go, what is it, yep. settings? Yep. Let's go back to the main settings menu mm -hmm. for you all here. Yep. So I'm in settings app. Right. Tap general. General. And then iPhone storage. So most apps in the App Store, with the exception of games, which can be gigabytes in size, are actually pretty small. So this iPhone storage section of the Settings app is really helpful to identify apps that are using the most storage on your iPhone. Right. Sometimes just by clearing up some storage, especially if you're really low, this can solve the problem uh, once and for all. So we checked our storage. Storage looks fine. Mm -hmm. Next thing is a bit of an unknown feature you can do in the App Store. It's right. pretty cool. So let's open up the App Store and we're gonna clear the App Store cache. And the way we're gonna do that is to tap any of the icons on the bottom of the screen. So right now, David has I'm on apps, so I'm gonna tap the apps yep. icon. Tap, tap it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right, now there isn't any dialogue that pops up that says, congratulations, you've cleared the App Store's <laughs> right. cache, but it does happen in the background. And just clearing out that data can help to solve this type of problem. And we'd also like to recommend that you close out the App Store yep. and the other apps on your iPhone. Well, so to right do right. that, Let's tell them how to do it. Double click the home button. Double tap the home button with your finger. The app switcher appears on the screen yep. and then just swipe your apps off the top of the screen. There we that go. closes them. And then you're just gonna reopen the app store and try to download your apps again. Right. Mm -hmm. So we all, we've done all that so far. Still won't download apps. Right. We should probably check restrictions. Restrictions. So let's show them how to get there. So settings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna head back to head, general. Head back to general. Yeah. We'll so, show you how to get yeah. there. I'm in the settings app. Scroll down and we're gonna tap general and then tap restrictions. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna enter my restrictions passcode here. Right, and so David has restrictions turned on on his right. iPhone. If they're off, then you could just skip to the next right. step in this video, just skip ahead 30 seconds or so. So but if, you have, if yeah. you have restrictions, scroll down and you'll see some of these app store, you see the app store icon, installing apps, deleting apps, in-app purchases. If this switch next to installing apps is turned off, you won't be able to install apps on your iPhone. Right, restrictions is Apple's word for parental controls on iPhones, but more frequently, it's the parents that lock themselves out of their yeah. own iPhones and the kids know how to get it off, so. This happens all the time. So restrictions look fine. Next mm -hmm. step in our software step. Yeah, we're gonna just uh, do reset all settings. And reset all settings on your iPhone is kind of a magic bullet that fixes a lot of problems with software and with the iPhone's operating system and with the App Store. So we're gonna go to settings and then down to general and then down to reset and tap reset all settings. Now, David isn't gonna do this right now because what it does do is it does wipe out everything in the settings app, but it doesn't touch like your photos, or your videos, or any of your personal data. Right. So it's a little bit of an inconvenience, but not the biggest deal in the world. So you've reset all settings. Mm -hmm. Apps still won't download on your iPhone. It's right. time for a DFU restore. It's time for the FU, I mean the DFU restore. 
Right. Um, the DFU Restore is the deepest type of restore you can do in your iPhone. You're yep. going to want to back up your iPhone before you do that at all. And then we're going to use iTunes and we have a yep. video. We have a great that. video. We're going to link, into, link to it in a card up above or in the description of this video. And yep. it'll just walk you through the whole process. Right. It's awesome. And then uh, I didn't see the card up there. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be there, okay. I promise. Cool. It's going to be up there. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, after that happens, you'll restore from your backup. And the DFU restore will, you know, 99.999% of the time, you will have fixed this problem. Right. So mm -hmm. that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment down below if you have any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the best iPhone content on YouTube.